Roy. So we were talking about uh, we are <coughs> talking about friction. अच्छा उसके आगे नहीं जाएगा क्या हार्ड फेस टू इसको भी नहीं किया ना ओके कैसे कम हो गई है फाइंड एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ बोथ द ओके सो यूजिंग body diagram of the 2 kg block you get 2g you get uh, normal reaction n and you get a force of 10 newton and then you say that look the value of f applied that i see for a 2 kg block is equal to 10 newton right now also we have the normal reaction as g and therefore f max is equal to 0.5 into 2g which is also equal to 10 newton so you will say that look friction will be opposite to this f applied s yes, and this friction will have a value equal to 10 newtons because f applied is 10 newton friction always matches f applied up till its up till its maximum value now ye jo friction hai 10 newton wala ye kisne kiske upar lagaya hai this has been applied by the surface of the 10 kg block on the surface of the 2 kg block right therefore according to newton's third law 
if this is a force applied by the 10 kg block on the 2 kg block, then the 2 kg block will apply an equal and opposite force on the 10 kg block, right? So what is this force? This force is the uh, equal and opposite force applied by the 2 kg block on the 10 kg block. Right? And what are the other forces acting on the 10 kg block? We have 10 g due to uh, the gravity. We have some n dash due to the surface of the floor. And we have some n due to the 2 kg block. Wala. Right? Ye or ye. Ye bhi action reaction pair hai. Okay, so these two guys are also action reaction pairs. Because remember, ये जो surface है, surface में दो forces लगती हैं. And actually तो एक ही लगती है, but हम उसको दो में break कर देते हैं. एक होता है normal reaction, एक होता है friction. तो अगर एक surface दूसरे पे normal reaction और friction लगा रहा है, तो दूसरा surface भी पहले वाले पे equal and opposite normal reaction और friction लगाएगा. Okay? So, after having drawn the FPD and having put in the value of all the forces, now I can find acceleration. And here I can say that 10 minus 10 must be equal to 2A. So, A is equal to 0. And here I must have 10 is equal to 10A. Therefore, A must be equal to 1 meter per second. Right? Now, this is an extremely, extremely weird result. And I'll tell you uh, the reason why it is weird. It is weird because of, because of the fact that I have applied a force on the 2 kg block. And as a consequence, the 10 kg block is accelerated. This is what is weird about this conclusion that I have drawn. As an example, as an analogy, what I can do is I can tell you about an ice skater. You know, why am I talking about an ice skater? The reason is that ice skating is one of the places where I can mimic zero friction. Right? Ice skating is one of the places where the value of friction is extremely small. <clears throat> so, if the value of friction is extremely small, then, uh, then we, can, we can actually create this situation. How can I create this situation? What do I mean I can create this situation? Well, the friction between the skates and the ice is almost zero. Okay. So I'm, I'm sorry about my diagram. I'm really bad at drawing diagrams. This is the skate. This is the ice. Right? So, the skate ka lower surface hai, wo ice se connected hai, wo ice ke upar hai. To, to, skate or ice ke beech ka friction zero hai, just like, just like here friction hai. But, jo skater hai, usne to skates pehen ke rakhi hai, na, right? Skates pehenne ka matlab hai, usne to lace lace bandh ke rakhi ho gai. इसका मतलब कि जो स्केटर और स्केट्स के बीच में जो फ्रिक्शन है, that is very large, right? So this is the skater, and here the friction is very large, and here the friction is almost equal to zero. So what this, what this conclusion, ये जो हमारा conclusion है, 
वट दिस कंक्लूजन इज टेलिंग अस कि मैंने स्केटर के ऊपर फोर्स लगाया ठीक है ना मैंने स्केटर के ऊपर फोर्स लगाया और फिर मुझे दिखाई दे रहा है कि स्केटर तो वहीं का वहीं है लेकिन उसके जो स्केट्स हैं वो निकल के भाग गए तो ऑल दिस so this is wrong and it is wrong because we used the rules for one surface आपको क्या वॉट डू यू टेक अवे फ्रॉम दिस दिस सर्फेस एंड दिस सर्फेस दिस सर्फेस एंड दिस सर्फेस मूवेबल मूवेबल दिस सर्फेस मूवेबल दिस सर्फेस यहां पे जो रूल्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन लगेंगे ये केस वन वाले लगेंगे यहां पे जो रूल्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन लगेंगे ये केस टू वाले ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू टू मेथड्स ऑफ सॉल्विंग आई डोंट नो which method you will find better i will i will show you both the methods and we'll do a lot of questions on this so what you need to do is you need to do all the questions twice using both the methods and then you can conclude ki kaun sa aapko acha lag raha hai so let me start with the next case two याद है किसी को मैथ्स में मैथ्स में एक एक प्रूफ होता है राइट मैथ्स में एक प्रूफ होता है कौन सा होता है उनको याद नहीं है जिसमें उल्टा प्रूफ करते हैं क्या बोलते हैं उसको अभी तो बताया गया था भूल गया था कॉन्वर्स नहीं कॉन्ट्रेक्ट कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन हाँ तो कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन में प्रूफ बाई कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन में वट एपन्स इज दैट यू अज्यूम समथिंग राइट यू स्टार्ट ऑफ बाई अज्यूमिंग दैट दिस इज ट्रू and then you carry out a series of mathematical steps and you arrive at something which is contradictory something like 0 is greater than 1 something like 0 is equal to 5 and when you arrive at something contradictory it means that your original assumption was wrong okay so here we are going to do something similar to that okay 
something similar to that. So we have 10 kg, everything is the same. We have, uh, we have 10 kg and we have two kilograms and we have the force 10 newton here. Uh, we have mu is equal to zero here. So I am going to assume that under the influence of these two forces, the two blocks will move together. I am going to assume that under the influence of this force 10 newtons, these two blocks are going to move together and their acceleration will be A. Right? So assumption. This is all what you are going to assume in every question assumption four blocks four blocks move as one with acceleration a okay so if both the blocks are moving together, then I have one block of mass 12 kg, right? This is the key step. Agar mene pure dono blocks ko ek system le liya, oh, mere paas for all practical purposes, there is only one block of mass 12 kilograms. What are the forces acting on the block 12 G? And then we have some normal reaction N. Okay. And then we have a force F is equal to 10 newtons. And there is no friction on this. There is no friction on this because this external hai wo to ye floor hai. 12 kilogram 12 kilogram jo external surface hai wo ye floor hai. Or Jesse Manesco eight block man lia bara kiloka, the internal friction hair, the internal surface hair that has got no role to play. Okay, so please never be confused. Agar apne ye yellow circle, ye yellow boundary banadia, so whatever is inside the boundary becomes one object, and whatever interaction may or may not happen or may not be happening between those two objects really does not matter, okay? Ha, uske external kya hai, yellow boundary ke, wo matter karta hai. External kya hai, wo jo external agent hai, force lagaya hai, jo earth force laga rahi hai, aur jo surface. So after having done this, I will apply the second law of motion and I will find out the value of A. So 10 is equal to 12A. A is equal to 10 by 12, which is equal to 5 by 6 meter per second square. Right? Now, at this point, you must ask me, you should be curious that what are we going to contradict? Where is the contradiction going to arise from? Well, after you have found acceleration, right? after finding acceleration, we must consider any one block and find the friction between the blocks. Right? So, we have acceleration. We have assumed that we move in the same way. And we have acceleration. Now, 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 what I am going to do is I am going to look at one block any one block and I'm going to find out the friction between the blocks. Okay? I'm going to find out the friction between the blocks. Now. So 
so i can either take the 2 kg block or i can take the 10 kg block i will take the 10 kg block the reason is uh, the reason is that 10 kg block pe kyun ek hi force lagi hui hai to ye jo maine fbds banayi hai yahan pe na ye fbds bilkul valid hai isme koi problem nahi fbds are absolutely correct the problem lies in this ye galat hai So I am going to draw the same FBD for the 10 kg block here, and I am going to write down 10 g plus n, and then due to the floor sum and dash. Actually, you don't have to do this. Vertical वाले forces हमें बनाने की ज़रूरत नहीं है क्योंकि कोई यहाँ पे टेढ़ी मेढ़ी forces नहीं act कर रही हैं. और यहाँ पे जो force है, that is the force of friction. So for The ten kg wala block, we will have F is equal to m a, and that is equal to ten into five by six. That is equal to fifty by six newtons. So using this acceleration. I have found the force of friction acting between the two blocks. Now what we do is that we find the maximum possible force of friction, F max, right? Or ये जो पिछले स्लाइड में F max निकाला है ये भी बिल्कुल सही है, it's also absolutely correct. Okay. So F max I want to calculate. This will be equal to point five. n which is equal to 0.5 into 2g and this will be equal to and this will be equal to 10 new okay now look at this friction force look at this friction force 50 by 6 is it less than or greater than 10 newtons is it less than or greater than 10 newtons this friction force is it less than or greater than 10 newtons so this is less than f max okay if it is less than f max then this means that my assumption was absolutely correct so this implies that the assumption was correct and if the assumption was correct then this is the answer both the blocks they move as one with acceleration a is equal to 5 by 6 meter per Right, which is completely different from the answer, uh, which is completely different from the answer. That we had in the previous slide. Okay, वहाँ पे तो अजीब सा ही आंसर आ रहा था. अब यहाँ पे जो आंसर आया है, that is. Uh, this is the correct answer right and this is the way this is the way to handle uh ha ha aur aur bata raha hu bhai abhi ruk jao sab bata raha hu एक 
हाँ भाई एक मिनट रुक जाओ एक मिनट हाँ जो बोलो सर सर आपने जो लास्ट एफबीडी में आपने टेन न्यूटन का जो फोर्स बनाया था वो कहा क्या था ना वो नहीं सर आपने बोला एक्शन रिएक्शन पैर आपने बोला था ना बेटा है ना ये तो फ्रिक्शन की वैल्यू कहां से कहां तक वेरी करती है सर जीरो से एफ मैक्स तक ये मैंने टेन न्यूटन क्या चीज है ओके ओके समझा और सर अगर हम लोग एक सम सॉल्व कर रहे हैं मेथड से तो सर हमें ये सेकंड वाला पार्ट करना पड़ेगा क्या कि फ्रिक्शन चेक कर रहे हम एफ मैक्स से कम है या नहीं कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन कहां से लेके आया हां कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन कहां से लेके आया ओके तो सर हमें हमेशा ऐसे ऐसे लंबे से करना पड़ेगा हम डायरेक्ट फर्स्ट स्टेप पे नहीं रुक सकते रुक जाना जाना और बोलना कि नहीं मैं तो नहीं बढ़ाऊंगा आगे नहीं रुक ओके सर ओके सर सर अगर कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन आ गया तो क्या करेंगे भाई दिखा रहा हूँ मेरे भाई रुक जाओ ना मैं कहीं भाग नहीं गया ना okay. मैं भागा हूँ क्या नहीं नाउ एफ इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन न्यूटन यहाँ पे विल स्टिल टेक यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो विश्वजीत जो तो पूछ रहा है वो अगले अगले क्वेश्चन में विश्वजीत पूछ रहा है कि अगर यहाँ यू जीरो नहीं होगा तो क्या होगा कुछ नहीं होएगा वो उसका फ्रिक्शन भी लेना पड़ेगा वो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में दिखा पाऊंगा <coughs> okay so the question is find find the acceleration find the acceleration of both blocks please follow me very carefully very very carefully assumption both block with acceleration a dono block ek sath move kar rahe hain aur ye dono blocks ka acceleration so for all practical purposes then i have the 12 kg block iske upar idhar jo force laga hai hai wo 15 newton ka laga hai बाकी वर्टिकल फोर्सेस लगे हैं 12 जी है और एक एन डैश है विच आई एम नॉट रियली बॉर्डर्ड अबाउट सो दिस टेल्स मी दैट 15 विल बी इक्वल टू 12 ए सो ए विल बी इक्वल टू 15 बाय 12 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 5 बाय 4 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर राइट right? तो मैंने क्या किया मैंने दोनों को एक ब्लॉक माना और मैंने एक्सेलरेशन निकाल दिया कि भाई इतनी फोर्स लगी थी ये एक्सेलरेशन है कहानी खत्म अब गैब ने बोला यहाँ रुक क्यों नहीं जाते यहाँ हम इसलिए नहीं रुक सकते हैं क्योंकि हमारा तो ये अजम्पन था ना तो ये मैंने मैंने आ, मैंने बोला कि नहीं जो है मैंने मैंने अज्यूम कर लिया तेरा नाम तो रवि शर्मा है अब तो मैं तेरे को रवि शर्मा बोलूंगा राइट दिस इज दिस इज रॉन्ग आई हैव मेड एन अजम्पन आई नीड टू कंफर्म और यू नो कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट माय अजम्पन अगर ये अजम्पन कंफर्म हो गया गुड अगर ये अजम्पन कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट हो गया तो तेरा अजम्पन गलत है something else is happening so to test okay, let me call this check 
So to test, check whether my assumption is right or wrong, I will take one block. Maybe I think the question was asked you, why are you taking the 10 kg block? I can take either block. I will take the 2 kg block this time. So 2 kg block to your forces like a have 15 hair or F. Please notice now I don't write the maximum value of friction because it is friction that I want to find out. And it is the value of friction that I'm going to get will tell me whether my assumption is correct or incorrect. So the acceleration of the 2 kg block is 5 by 4. So I will have an equation which is 15 minus F is equal to mass into acceleration. I will 10 kg block ke bhi kar sakte te. In fact, you should do it in your copies. So, F is equal to 15 minus 10 by 4, okay, which is equal to 60 minus 10, that is 50 by 4. And we know that here F max between these two surfaces is equal to 0.5 into 2g which is equal to 10 newtons and is this f greater than or less than this f max is this friction greater than or less than this f max 50 by 4 bada hota hai or 10 bada hota hai? 50 by 4 is greater than this f max Right? Now we know that the friction cannot be greater than F max. It is impossible. This is just like saying 0 is greater than 4. 3 is greater than 4. Right? So this means, this implies that my assumption, so this means that the assumption was wrong. And both blocks do not move together. And if the two blocks are not moving together, if the two blocks are not moving together, then I have to go back and I have to draw the FPD for both the blocks. And I have to work everything out again. So drawing the FPD for the 2 kg block, I get a 15 Newton force here. And now I know that the blocks are not moving together. That means that the blocks are sliding over each other. slide because their accelerations are different. And just like in case one, when there is motion between the two surfaces, this means that now, without any question, the friction has reached its maximum value. So the acceleration of the 2 kg block, acceleration of the 2 kg block is equal to 15 minus 10 divided by mass, that is equal to 2.5 five meter per second square and the acceleration of the 10 kg block which is only due to friction will be equal to 10 is equal to 10 a and this implies that a is equal to one meter per second square i should be careful i should write a1 here i should write a2 here because the accelerations are different so in this case, the upper block will be moving with an acceleration of 2.5 meter per second square, whereas the lower block will be moving with an acceleration of 1 meter per second square. Right? So whenever you see two blocks, this is the first method. I will tell you another method. Whenever you see two blocks, assume that they are moving together and find the acceleration. After having found the acceleration, you will uh, find the friction between the two blocks. If this friction is greater than, if this friction is greater than the F max value, then your assumption is wrong. 
and the two blocks are not moving together. In this case, you will draw the FBD of the two blocks again separately and you will keep friction at its maximum value. Now, F is not written in the right way. Now, F max is written in the right way. Then you will find the separate acceleration of the two blocks. If, however, the friction comes out to be less than F max, then this means that your assumption is absolutely right and the two blocks are indeed moving together and whatever acceleration you have found is the answer. Right? Please notice that if you have this question ko on the face of it and you will solve it you will get very very drastically different and wrong results. Okay? So the केस वन इसीलिए मैं बार बार बोलता रहा था ये केस वन पे एप्लीकेबल है ये केस वन पे एप्लीकेबल है क्योंकि जब केस टू आएगा तो ये एफ अप्लाइड और उसका जो कॉन्सेप्ट है ये सब गायब हो जाता है तो हियर रिमेंबर दैट द रूल्स ऑफ केस वन दे डू नॉट अप्लाई ओके सो नाउ Now let me give you a question. Now you are trying to open up. 10 kg, 2 kg, mu equal to zero, mu equal to 0.5, f is equal to 50 newton. नीचे वाले ब्लॉक में फोर्स सेट कर रहा है एंड सो फाइंड एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ बोथ ब्लॉक्स व्हाई फ्रिक्शन इज नॉट मैक्सिमम दो एक्सेलरेशन इज देयर भैया रिलेटिव एक्सेलरेशन जब होता है तब फ्रिक्शन मैक्सिमम होता है ओके आप अपने हाथ पे पेन को रखो और अपने हाथ को आगे बढ़ाओ पेन भी साथ में बढ़ेगा दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट द फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन योर हैंड एंड पेन हैज बिकम मैक्सिमम
दोनों का एक्सप्रेशन बताना है मेरे को बस ये बताओ कि दोनों मूव करेंगे कि अलग अलग मूव करेंगे मूव टूगेदर और विल दे मूव सेपरेटली माइनस टू तो उसमें हो नहीं सकता है ना यार मैं मैं तेरे को आगे की तरफ खींचू तेरा जूता पीछे चले जाए ऐसा पॉसिबल नहीं है ना so we assume that both the blocks move together and we assume that the acceleration is a so basically we have a 12 kg block jiske upar force f is equal to 50 newton laga hai so now if i were to draw the individual fdts if i were to draw the individual fdts then i would get for the 2 kg block 2 g and and f and for the 10 kg block i would get capital f f 10 g n and separately i am almost willing to bet That your FBDs are wrong, or you have used the old FBDs. Use the force is now being applied on the 10 kg block. So when I apply this force here, then block like so, and there will be a friction force on the 2 kg block like so. Remember that here. ये जो इंटरमेशिंग है बिटवीन द सरफेसेस जब मैं 10 के वाले को आगे खींचता हूँ जब मैं 10 के वाले ब्लॉक पे आगे की तरफ फोर्स लगाता हूँ तो 2 के जी ब्लॉक को टेन के जी ब्लॉक को रोक रहा है राइट हाँ मैं फिर से बोल रहा हूँ अगेन Remember that अभी आवाज आ रही है दो नहीं Thank you. 
So I had drawn the two kg ka FBD, ten kg ka FBD, ten G plus N, N one F F F two G. Or jab humne isko ek plot consider kiya. Now you can consider either either this FBD or this FBD. It does not really matter. मैं ऊपर वाला FBD मान के चल रहा हूँ. तो ऊपर वाले FBD के हिसाब से और the upper FBD F is equal to MA, right? Let me just for this guy F is equal to two A. That means F is equal to two into twenty five by six is equal to fifty by six. And remember that F max, let me work out that thing here, is equal to ten U. So this is less than F max. This implies that the assumption. Is absolutely correct. Both blocks ये F क्या लग रहा है विश्वजीत क्या लिखा होगा ये F F से क्या होगा ये flower F for flower F for हाँ कौन सी force विश्वजीत कौन सी force both blocks कौन सी फोर्स विश्वजीत हाँ और तो कुछ हो नहीं सकता ना स्मॉल एफ में हमेशा फ्रिक्शन के लिए यूज करता हूं ना So the answer to this question is 50 by 6 meter per second square for both the blocks. So they got. इस सीरीज का आखिरी क्वेश्चन या मे बी सेकेंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन प्रसन्ना सारी स्लाइड गायब हो गई क्योंकि मेरा नेटवर्क गायब हो गया
हाँ क्योंकि मैं कुछ बोल नहीं रहा हूँ क्वेश्चन करो डेढ़ घंटा में बोलते रहूंगा तो पागल हो जाऊंगा पहले यू हैव टू आंसर फर्स्ट यू हैव टू टेल मी वेदर दे विल बी मूविंग टुगेदर और सेपरेटली प्लीज यूज व्हाट आई हैव डन ऊपर एफबीडी आपके लिए सारे बने हुए हैं अज्यूम हां वेरी गुड वेरी गुड यस Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, absolutely right. Okay. Now, if we have reached the conclusion that we have reached the conclusion, if we are at the conclusion that they are moving separately, then we must find the separate acceleration.
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लास्ट क्वेश्चन में दे बोथ मूव सेपरेटली इससे पहले वाले क्वेश्चन में सेपरेट मोशन हो गया यस सेम आ रहा है वाले ब्लॉक पे फ्रिक्शन इज एक्टिंग लाइक सो एफ इज इक्वल टू 2 into 70 by 12 एफ इज इक्वल टू 70 by 6 व्हिच इज ग्रेटर देन एफ मैक्स देयरफॉर बोथ ब्लॉक्स मूव 
separate and we can find the acceleration from uh, from this ye to fbd already bane hue hai so n is equal to 2a1 so a1 is equal to 5 meter per second square and 70 minus 10 is equal to 1082 so 82 is equal to 6 meter per second 5 and 6 इसका आंसर यहां पे वी कंसीडर देम एज वन ब्लॉक नाउ व्हाट वी शुड इट वाज आस्किंग नीचे भी फ्रिक्शन आ गया लेकिन ये जो नीचे फ्रिक्शन है ये केस 1 वाला है इसमें कोई केस 2 नहीं है ठीक है तो हमारे पास आएगा 10 केजी ब्लॉक और इसके ऊपर जो फोर्स है वो है फोर्टी न्यूट्रन और यहाँ पे अब फ्रिक्शन लगा हुआ है इसके ऊपर एंड दिस इक्वल टू पॉइंट वन इन टू एन हियर विच इज इक्वल टू टेन जी सो हियर द फोर्स इज टेन न्यूट्रन सो वी गेट फोर्टी माइनस Ten is equal to ten a. A is equal to three meter per second. Now check कर लेते हैं एक बार. I I think everybody is getting this as the answer. So just let me check. ऊपर वाले ब्लॉक पे चेक करते हैं. Five kg. ऊपर वाले ब्लॉक पे हॉरिजॉन्टल केवल फ्रिक्शन फोर्स लगी है. F. So F is equal to five a, which is equal to fifteen. Newtons, and then we have to find the value of F max here. यहाँ पे F max हमें निकालना है. F max will be equal to 0.4 into 5 into g, uh, which is equal to 20 newtons. Right. So here we have less than F max. Therefore, the assumption. पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन इंटू टेन बताओ भाई क्या आएगा इसमें पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन इंटू टेन पूछा था किसने पूछा था अद्वैत ने पूछा हाँ आ गया ना तो अद्वैत तो चल ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लीज डू दिस वेरी केयरफुली Find acceleration of both the bodies.
चलो सेम प्रोसीजर सेम प्रोसीजर फिफ्टी न्यूटन ज्यादा बड़ा फोर्स है तो मैं अज्यूम करूंगा कि इधर ये मूव कर रहा है Basically, I have an 11 kilogram block, which is under the influence of 50 here, 10 here, and friction भी होना चाहिए यहाँ पे और friction maximum होना चाहिए क्योंकि वो move कर रहा है, zoom कर रहा है, move कर रहा है। तो friction maximum कितना होएगा यहाँ पे? Normal reaction होएगा 11 g into 0.1. This will be 11. So I get fifty minus ten, forty minus ten, forty minus ten, forty minus eleven, forty minus eleven. Get that? Get twenty nine. Twenty nine is equal to eleven a. A is equal to twenty nine by eleven meter per second. Rul, ya na, Smith, I am to work out. Kari raha ho na, I am not running away. Now we are talking about. Uh, let's talk about. ऑल्सो 5 kg वाले ब्लॉक पे 50 न्यूटन इधर लगा है 11 न्यूटन फ्रिक्शन नीचे सरफेस से लगा है और f फ्रिक्शन ऊपर सरफेस से लगा है सो आई विल हैव 50 माइनस f माइनस 11 इज इक्वल टू 5a f इज इक्वल टू 50 माइनस 11 माइनस 5a that is 5 into 29 by 11. क्या वैल्यू आएगी इसके? I'm sorry for the गंदी गंदी वैल्यूज हो गई. Calculator ये रहा. 25.8 आएगा पक्का. 29 divided by 11 into 5. Plus eleven. Ah, twenty-five point eight. Yes, twenty-five point eight. But f max is thirty. Eh? So this is less than f max. This implies that the assumption is correct. Friction. Yeah, so they will move together absolutely, and the acceleration will be twenty-nine by eleven meter per second. आप करो प्रसन्ना डोंट रिलाय ऑन मी फॉर एवरीथिंग अपने आप करो ऊपर वाले ब्लॉक पे रिजल्ट आपके सामने है यू नो दिस इज द रिजल्ट राइट से करो ना भाई इफ यू आर स्टक तो इसका मतलब ये थोड़ी ना है कि आप हर बार पूछ लो टेन इधर लगेगा और एफ इधर लगेगा एफ 
minus 10 is equal to 6. Chalo, okay. So I will see you in the next class. Please finish HCV now. You can do all the questions from HCV. In the next class, we'll continue doing this. There are a few more questions that I have to discuss from this. Okay. And uh, then next, next class, we'll start with a new topic. Shalo, bye bye. I'll see you. I think tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Yeah. HCV pura karna hai sabko pehle. Sanna pehle HCV khatam kar fir main bata. Ha, I'll teach you the second way. Na. Shalom, bye bye guys, bye bye.